who among us has not wanted to communicate with those we have loved and lost? Life may be fleeting, but there is a part of us that lives after death, and that part may be able to communicate with the living. It is an idea as old as humanity, and there are many stories of those who have contacted or have been contacted by the dead, too many testimonies to be dismissed as frauds or simple deceptions. And the truth is that communication with the deceased loved ones can be an aid to calm the pain that invades us and that is consuming the soul, as well as finding meaning in the meaning behind death. However, above all, talking to these souls can help us move forward with our lives and achieve a sense of peace. Grief will never disappear from our lives, but we can live with it. There are a variety of ways in which people have communicated with their deceased friends and family. These methods are not new, since they are mentioned in the stories we hear and read about those who have managed to cross the thin veil and have listened to the spirits of those they loved in life. You can also do this, we will discuss six of the best ways to communicate with your loved ones who have already left forever. 1. Speaking out loud, one of the simplest ways for a deceased loved one to communicate with you is simply by talking. That's right, just talk. But it's not about talking to talk. You must keep in your mind an image of the person you are trying to communicate with. This is best done in a quiet place, where you can clear your mind, without any distractions. Start with very basic questions, yes or no, and ask your spiritual loved one to respond in a specific way, such as tapping a wall. As much as possible, try to release your feelings of shame. You are talking to your loved one as if he were in the room with you. Do not think too much about what you want to say, just let your thoughts flow. Communicating with those who are no longer with us is easy or difficult depending on you. Release all preconceived notions, clear your mind and just speak as if it were right in front of you. 2. Dreams, in esoteric and paranormal world we have already addressed this form of communication. Our dreams have the power to connect us with new and strange places. Pay close attention to all of them, since your deceased loved one may be trying to communicate with you while you sleep. In the dream world, all barriers collapse, making it easy for someone in the spiritual world to approach you. Although there is another possibility, you can also reach them by dreaming lucidly. The lucid dreams is simply to take control of your dreams through the awareness that you are dreaming. One way to do it is to return to a dream that you just woke up from. Close your eyes and concentrate on the dream, imagine that you are already in it and try to keep that thought as you move away. Another technique is simply to mentally repeat I'll be aware that I'm dreaming as you fall asleep. Either way, if you can take control of your dreams, you can get to communicate with the deceased loved ones in the dream world. 3. To meditate, sometimes, we must improve our conscience if we want to establish contact with our deceased loved ones, and one of the best ways to do it is through meditation. Communication with the dead requires basic principles and you will need sharp senses and a calm mind. To meditate properly, find a comfortable position and use an object to focus your mind, like a tree or the touch of a particular fabric. Try to keep that object in your mind to prevent other thoughts from getting in the way. Keep this state for as long as you can. Eventually, you can maintain your meditative state for longer periods. Once you do this, start focusing on the face of your loved one you want to communicate with. This will help you to tune in to better receive your communications. Use a medium, if you simply cannot communicate with those who have died, you may need to find an expert in the field. This must be a person who has experience in spiritual communication. However, we warn you that not all mediums are trusted, and many want to make money with the misfortunes of others. Do not let your desperation to communicate with your loved one make you make bad decisions. You can distinguish it from a phony medium by the fact that it will almost always try to guide you with questions, subtly discover what you want to hear and then adapt it so that you trust it blindly. But it is also very true that there are experts who help unselfishly, as is the case with the well-known psychic Elise Defer. Do not be afraid to communicate and describe exactly what kind of help you need, you may be surprised at the result. 4. Pray, if you have faith, 
Another great way to communicate with your deceased loved one is to pray. Almost all major religions mention one way or another about what happens after death, and in most of them, people who have died are still aware of what happens in the realm of the living. So do not be afraid to ask your deity, angel, saint, or god, that your loved one receives the message. But it should also be noted that in some religions it is forbidden to attempt a communication with the dead, but that does not mean that they listen to you. Use the power of your religion and take advantage of the spiritual world. Your loved one will hear what you have to say. 5. Use a personal object if you have some belonging that was particularly valuable to the loved one, you can use it to try to establish a communication. To do this, many experts in the field suggest using the object along with any of the steps mentioned above. The belongings can absorb and retain spiritual energy over time and can improve the connection with its previous owner. This method is especially effective when combined with meditation. Let the object become the focus of your meditation and exclude all other thoughts. This can form a powerful connection with the person you are trying to communicate with. 6. You must be attentive, do not expect direct and constant communication, as if it were a phone call with your friend or deceased family member. Generally, the results of our communication are not visible to the naked eye, but they do exist. You must be attentive, your mind open, and your consciousness acute, so you will see the signs and signals that your deceased loved one sends you. However, be patient while you try to communicate, it is possible that these signals do not appear the way you expect them. It can be in the form of thought, a dream, a voice that whispers to you, an object that moves, with the casual appearance of an animal or, if it is something very important, with the physical vision of the deceased. Have you ever contacted a deceased loved one? Do not hesitate to share your experience, you could help others who urgently need to communicate with someone who is no longer with us.